wanted to thank very much Rav Stephen for gathering us all together. When it hurts, it's important to cry out. And even though our numbers are small, differences are made with such gatherings. First and foremost, I know all of you join me in offering blessings to Tzva Haganali Israel, to the IDF, to Israeli Defense Forces, putting their lives on the line to protect Israel, to protect Jews throughout the world, and to protect Western values and democratic values. May they be safe and all come home in peace. But what a difference. What a difference and then there is a sameness. Our rabbis tell us in war there is no joy. Even in victory, in fall of Yivcha, al tismach. And it is our way, it is a correct way, to mourn the loss of innocent civilians, our brothers and sisters, Jews, and to mourn the loss of innocent Palestinian civilians. That's who we are, that's what we're all about. That's what Torah is all about. But in the same breath, what a difference. What a difference between the IDF and Hamas. The IDF, Israeli Defense Forces, our soldiers, may they be blessed, women and men, put their lives on the line to shield innocent Israeli civilians. But the Hamas terrorists show their cowardice by putting or placing civilians as shields to protect them. What a difference. One can sense the ethics of a person, not when things are only going well, but when things are difficult. What a difference between rockets that are fired indiscriminately into cities and Israel and the IDF that does everything that it can to limit collateral damage. What a difference. And today, for the first time in Israel's history, we mourn battles taking it place in the streets of Lud and elsewhere. Synagogues have been burnt down. A Sefer Torah was torched. Now friends, we have those within our own community with whom we part company. I'm referring to some in the past, especially in the Shomron, who torched mosques. I remember going with Rabbi Yair Silverman to the village of Yusuf, where a mosque had been burnt down by one of our own. We each have these extreme extremists. And we went at considerable risk. It was really risky to say and to offer, if you will, words of comfort. And we were not the only ones who went. Rabbi Shlomo Riskin went. Rabbi Aaron Lichtenstein of blessed memory went. 
and the Knesset, Jews from the right to the left, joining Arab representatives in the Knesset, rose up and said, this is not our way. But there has been a deafening silence after the synagogue and the Sefer Torah were torched. I haven't heard a word from the PA. Haven't heard a word from Hamas. Where is the community out there? Where is the voice of decency? Where is a voice of moral conscience that unites all of humankind? And with a deep heart, I want to say the following. Toby and I have been in this community for 50 years. We always felt that in times of dire need, that we were represented by government officials in Congress and beyond. With a heavy, heavy heart, I say, I no longer feel that I'm being represented. Congressman Bauman, the tweet which you sent out yesterday was so painful, was so hurtful, was so one-sided. And so I say to you the following, this is a district with tens of thousands of people for whom Israel is their heart and soul. And that is not only true coming from the Jewish community. I'm talking about my sisters and brothers in the black community, my sisters and brothers in the Hispanic community. I'm talking about the people who were driving by, who may not have been Jewish, who said, Israel, yes, Israel, yes. And we are going to join in a coalition and we are going to declare the words of the prophet Isaiah, Leman Zion lo echasher. Leman Zion lo echasher. For the sake of Zion, we will not be silent. For the sake of Zion, we will not be silent. And I would add, for the sake of America, we will not be silent because Israel today is one of the strongest bulwarks against the spread of terrorism to the West and to these shores. Leman Zion lo echashem. Shalu shalom Yerushalayim. Seek out the peace of Jerusalem. No matter the narrowness of the bridge, said the great Rebbe, the Haikar, have faith, have hope, keep the dream alive. Yes, call Ha'olam Kulo Geshet Sar Ma'od, the Haikar, but the main thing is Lo Lifachet Klau, the main thing. Do not be afraid. We will prevail, Bezrat Hashem. Leman Tzion lo Hashem. For the sake of Zion and America, we will defend Israel to the hilt. Oh, ha'olam, ha'olam.